Hello guys, my name is Joel Mukanya. I'm a CEO and founder at JT Tabs. For today's video, we're going to create some examples on methods using C Sharp in 2022. Let's first define a method. All we need to know that is a block of stat statements. All right. So the statement will be the code that you're going to specify within your um, within your method or within your body of your method. So let's create our basic method. So uh, since we don't want to create an instance of a class, that's why we need to make use of static. We specify static, and then it will be after that we need uh, if uh, it will be public or private. Public, it means that uh, other clauses can be able to access that, uh, this particular method. Private means that uh, um, once we create a method as private, then we actually say that uh, no other clauses will be able to access this particular method or any other user will, will, will not be, uh, we're not going to be able to access this particular method outside of the class. So. So once we actually inside of this class, then we can be able to access uh, a private method. All right. So I'm just going to specify it as public. And then after that, we need to specify if it's going to be, um, it's going to return a value or not. So we say it's not going to return any value, then it will be void. Then after that, we need a method name. Okay, let's just uh, say, let's just use a basic method. So we're just going to display something on the screen. Say display. All right, so once that is done, then we need to call our method within this uh, main method. Then I'll be it. So let's run it. All right, the display hello day. Awesome. Now, our next example will be to create a method with uh, arguments. Let's run our program one more time. All right, so the amount is twenty four thousand. So now we need to allow the user to return a value.
So this time I'm just going to make use of private. So in here, we just, we must make use of a return statement. Then we have salary uh, plus, we should add that we need to make use of plus. Then plus bonus, and then of the edge. Then since it's a return is something that we need to make use of uh, console, so that we can write it on console. All right, so let's run our program one more time. We'll keep on testing each method to see if it's running. All right, so that is our method. So we just forgot to form, format it, but it's not a problem. We just want to see if it's, it's all good. So all good. Then what next? So we need to make use of, um, uh, we need to create a method that actually refer as uh, to, uh, to have a name Arguments, All right? So we do those. Say static uh, private. Uh, so we're just going to return. Uh, okay. All right. So we just say. Uh, I'm just going to use a void uh, full name. Okay, so I'm sorry. User, yeah. So we're just going to display the value and so yeah. So let's display it. So what we do we're actually calling a method. So this time it will be we just say name column and then we pass the value say maybe Peter. All right. And then let's run our program. Okay, so I think it's missing. Just have to check some more my notes. Yeah. All right. 
so it should be lowercase so go so that it can match uh, this argument so let's run it again All right, then it is pay pizza. All right, so by doing this, so we actually are providing the value of pizza, then we assign it to this variable, um, um, uh, to this uh, name argument, and then it will go to, to yeah. Uh, so it's just going to be the same thing as passing the value but just to be to do something fancy so i decided to also to show you a name argument so you're giving your argument a name yeah so that is precisely what is it so you you don't you just don't want to pass a value but you want to pass it you want to assign the value to the arguments to the argument name or a uh, key yeah to the uh, argument key and then from that key it will actually going to be used um in yeah it's going to be used here yeah. so it's going to be as you can see if you already work with uh, like uh, we work on a uh, object in javascript whereby we talk about uh key value pay so the value we be this one, Peter, then we are assigning the value to our named argument. You see? Yeah, that precisely what is it. So let's see, our next step is to create an, a method overloading. So let's first define what is method overloading. So method overloading is when two or more methods share the same name, but with different return data type and argument list. So the argument list will be that, uh, that we have, the one that we have there. So it's referred as argument list. And then this is going to be the return type. Okay. So when you, you you have the same name of the method, so let me use this one as again. I'm going to say, I'm just going to copy it. And then this time I'm going to pass a synonym. So it says string or synonym. Then we're going to uh say maybe our uh, full name all right so this will be it so they share the same name but different arguments so one has you we can allow the user to pass uh one argument or one argument so it's going to be the value they're going to pass one value then once they pass one value then we know that it will be a name so if they pass two values then one will be considered as a name the other one will be a center so let's have a look so after we run this uh this method we already we saw what uh the output was now this time let's use uh, uh, let's pass two arguments. Then I'm going to say Peter. Then with send name, we can just use maybe Sam. Okay, so let me just do that. You see, if uh, we pass one value, it's going to call this method over here so let me do this okay so that's right one
right. So let's run our program. One argument was when we pass pizza, and then when we pass to uh, we pass to argument, then it specified that it was uh, uh, to argument method was called. All right, so that is actually what we refer as method overloading. So the benefit of method overloading is to avoid errors. So that's why we need to uh, define two methods of the same name, but you need to remember, you need to actually make sure that uh, you uh, they have different uh, arguments and also uh, different um, return data type. So if you already have the, uh, the, the argument list is actually different, then there's no problem if uh, they, they share the same return type. Okay, so one return time can be integer, the other one can be double. But the main key is for them to have different argument list. So that's why it was actually implemented. So that Microsoft implements due to that. So to avoid errors, because the user can pass uh, one argument uh, where that's supposed to provide two arguments. Right. Okay, thank you guys. Please subscribe, share, and like the video. Bye.